Hey friends, my name is Sophie and today we're going to do a 20 minute yoga workout. So we're going to get right to it because we only have 20 minutes. So come to a comfortable seated position. It doesn't matter what position you're in. We're going to get moving after we do some breathing. Go ahead and close your eyes if it feels okay for you. And take a big deep breath in. Out of your mouth, exhale. Another one, inhale, fill up, bringing in energy and vitality. Exhale, let it go. Once more, biggest breath so far. In, hold, and let it go. Go ahead and blink your eyes open. Make your way into down dog. Find some movement. Today's class is really going to be about getting some energy, getting the muscles uh, warm, blood pumping, and really challenging ourselves in this 20 minutes. We'll also get some stretching in as well. So come into a plank pose, shift it forward. From plank, we're going to lower all the way down to the ground. Lift your hands up off of the ground, lift your feet up. So it's like you're doing locust pose. Keep your gaze down, anchor your feet to the back of the room. Inhale, on exhale, lower back down. Tuck your toes, lift your thighs, and press all the way up to plank, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, inhale, plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up for your locust variation. Exhale, lower back down, tuck your toes. Inhale, press up to plank. Exhale, down dog. Two more. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift everything. Exhale, lower. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Once more, bring it forward. Inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down dog. Take a breath in. And let it go. Walk your hands to the back of the mat. Ragdoll, grab onto your elbows. Let your head hang. Rock side to side, bending one knee at a time, shifting your weight from one foot to the other. Maybe a couple bounces. Your knees are soft, but not fully straight. And then release your hands down to the ground. Now take your toes, turn them out, and sit low into a yogi squat but keep your fingertips on the ground. Inhale, exhale, refold. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale, bend, open your chest. Exhale, fold. Two more, inhale, bend, open. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend, open. Exhale, fold. Nice. Bring your feet to hip distance. Root down through your feet, stand and reach your arms to the sky. Hands to your heart, arms down by your sides. Reach your arms up. Take a side bend to the right. So right arm down, left arm goes up and over. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, switch sides. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Take your time. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, walk it all the way out to plank. Good. Lower onto your forearms for a forearm plank. Palms stay flat, flat on the ground, fingers spread, and firm up your thighs. Hug your ribs in, gaze at the in between your thumbs. Lift your right foot up. Set it back down. Lift your left foot up. Set the foot back down. Come back up onto your hands. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Feet together. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Bend your knee, open your hip. Breathe. Restraighten the right leg and step your foot between your hands. Low lunge. 
Set your back knee down to just tap the ground and then lift it back up. Again, lower down and lift. One more time, lower, lift. Now straighten your right leg and then rebend. Inhale, straight. So a lot of dynamic movement today. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straight. Exhale, bend. Keep your left fingertips down. Reach your right arm up. And then reach your right arm over your ear. Keep your feet anchored into the ground. Soles of the feet. Can you twist a little more to the right? Then reach your right arm up. Inhale, exhale, put your hand back down to the ground. And then come into standing splits, lift your left leg up. Lift up into a, um, a supported warrior three. So you come up onto your fingertips, spin your left hip down a little bit so your hips are squared, your chest is lifting, spine is long. Bring your hands to your heart. Ready, now we're gonna stand all the way up, take the left leg with you. And then put your right hand on your left, outer left thigh and take your left arm behind you. From here, we're going into Revolved Warrior Three. So take your left leg back behind you, your left hand to the ground, and your right arm straight up. So it's like Warrior Three, but now you're turning to the right. Keep the lifting that chest, don't collapse to the ground. Inhale, one more breath. Exhale, hands down, step back to low lunge, step back to plank. Lower down onto your forearms for a forearm plank. And then step your right foot out to the right and then lift the foot up. Put the foot back down and then bring it back to center. Left foot to the left, lift it up. Put it back down, come back to center. Come back up onto your hands. Inhale, exhale, down dog. Breath in and breath out. Lift your left leg up, bend your knee, open your hip. Take this moment to slow down. Straighten the left leg out, inhale. Exhale, step your foot between your hands, just your fingertips on the ground. Put your back knee down and lift it back up. Lower and lift, lower, lift. Let's do one more, lower, lift, pause. Straighten your left leg and re-bend. Inhale, straight, exhale, bend. Straighten and bend, stay here. Keep your right fingertips down, reach your left arm up, twist and reach left arm over your ear. Reach your left arm back up, inhale. Exhale, put your hands back down onto the ground and come into standing split so you lift your right leg up. Supported warrior three. So fingertips go out in front of you and your spine lifts away from the ground, chest lifts. Right hip anchors down, left hip anchors back. Hands to your heart, try to balance here. Then come up to one leg mountain. Left hand on outer right leg, right arm behind you. Revolved warrior three. So right leg goes back, right hand goes to the ground, left arm goes up. Inhale, exhale, bring your hands down to the ground, step back to low lunge, step back to plank. Then again, lower onto your forearms. Now walk your feet in a couple inches. So you're like almost coming to dolphin, but not super high up. 
Now shift forward a little and then go back. Keep going forward and back. So dolphin push-ups. So you're never like fully in a forearm plank. You're never really fully in dolphin. Forward and back. Forward, back. Three more. Three. Two. One. Now come all the way back into a forearm plank. And lower your hips down to the ground. And open up your chest. And then relax your chest. Keep your toes untucked. And lift your thighs away from the ground. Five more seconds. Four. Three. Two. One, lower your hips, open up your chest. Now lower back all the way down to the ground, plant your hands, and you're gonna press up to plank. Lift your thighs, press it up, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Breath in, and breath out. Lift your right leg up, inhale. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. Pause there. Good, now keep plant down through your left hand and reach your right arm up. And actually come up onto your left fingertips, that might be better here. Okay, so we're gonna try to come into a sort of a pistol squat from here. I don't really know what to call this, but we're gonna take the left leg through the front. So shoot it through and you're squatting down. So yeah, uh, you're pretty much in a pistol squat and you can bring your hands to your heart if you wanna try balancing there. Maybe even grab onto the outer left foot with the right hand and twist to the left, kind of like what we did in a way when we were standing. Now you're gonna put your left hand back onto the ground and we're gonna step back into a low lunge twist all the way back, nice, inhale, open, exhale, hands inside of your right foot, slide your right foot to the right, put your back knee down, untuck your toes and lift your right arm up to twist. Option to bend your knee and grab onto your foot. Just for three seconds. Three, two, and one. I know it's over too soon. Put your hands down, lift your back knee, and step back into plank. Take your hands wide. We're gonna do a regular push-up, not chaturanga, but push-up. So your hands are wider, lower down, and then come back up. Three more, lower, and lift, two more, lower, lift, last push up, down and up. And then bring your hands back to underneath the shoulders, downward facing dog. Feet together, lift your left leg up, inhale. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. Keep your right fingertips down, take your left arm up. All right, we're gonna go into a pistol squat. So you're gonna take your right leg through to the front. Maybe you stay here with your right hand down. Maybe you bring your hands to your heart and balance. Maybe left hand to outer right foot as you twist open to the right. All right, we're gonna bring it back. Right hand goes down first, left arm up, and then shoot that right leg back. Open to the left, inhale. Exhale, hands inside of your left foot. Slide your left foot to the left. Now we get to stretch. Briefly, put the knee down, untuck your toes, open your left arm to the left. Option to bend your knee and grab onto your foot. For three, two, one, release the foot, bring the hands down, lift your back knee, step back silently into plank. So you try not to drag the foot. Bring your hands wide. This time we're gonna do five push-ups. Ready, lower down, five, Four, three, two, one. Hands back underneath your shoulders, downward facing dog. Breath in and out. Look forward, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, bend the knees, sweep your arms up. Bring your hands to your heart. And we're twisting to the right. Hook your elbow over. 
breathe. Find that nice twist. Remember, this is a breath focused practice. So make sure you're breathing nice and evenly. Come back to center, hands at the heart, stay low, twist to your left. One more breath. Come back to center, arms up. We're gonna sit all the way down for boat pose. Put your butt down, lift your legs. I know it feels hard after we just engage those quads. Uh, that's on purpose. Lower down halfway. Take your arms overhead and do a full V up, ready? Lift it all up if you can. And arms back overhead, lower down and lift. Lower and lift. Lower. Lift, three more. Lift, three, two, one. Now lower down, keep your arms by your sides. Hold, look towards your feet. For five, four, keep holding. Three, two, one, release. Ah. Plop to the ground, let yourself relax. Bring your right knee to your chest. Mm. Take your right leg straight up to the sky. Circle your ankle three times in each direction. Bend your knee, bring it into your chest. And take a twist, knee goes to the left, right arm goes out to the right. Bring the knee back to center. Let's switch it out, left knee in, right leg long. Should feel really nice. Take your left leg straight up, interlace your hands. Circle your ankle around. Bring the knee back into the chest. Take a twist. Knee to the right, left arm out to the left. And then bring your knee back to center. Bring both knees into the chest. All right, we're gonna make our way back up to a seat. So rock your way up. And take your legs straight out in front of you. We're going to end with the Paschimottanasana. So bend your knees, sit tall, and then reach for the outer edges of your feet. Inhale, exhale, fold. And just notice how it feels today. It might feel a little tighter because it is a shorter practice. Oftentimes you do this at, a, at the end of a longer practice. So just observe little nuances of the body. Let the head relax. And we can be so grateful for all of those nuances and the changes each day. Slowly rise back up. And cross your legs or any other seated position is just fine. Place your hands on your knees. Sit tall. Close your eyes. And we're going to end with three deep breaths, just like we did at the beginning. So take a deep breath in, fill the belly, fill the chest, hold. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the chest all the way to the collarbones and hold. Let it go. Give it away. One final breath, biggest breath you've taken all day so far. Inhale, hold, and let it go. Let your breath return to its natural rhythm. 
Soften the muscles in the face. Lengthen the crown of the head to the sky. Bring your palms together at your heart and we will bow together in gratitude for this practice. Thank you. Thank you for joining this quick and effective practice. I hope you feel great. Let me know if you do in the comments below. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel for lots of movement classes, all different kinds. So go check it out. I'll see you next time.